to do again, welcome back to the channel. We finally broke 20 episodes of the LA Diaries. It's episode 21 here. I know we got a gang of new followers too, so I should probably do this. If you're new here, you have no idea who I am. My name is David Perkins. I'm a lifestyle content creator. I mainly specialize in content for things that I'm interested in. So like fitness and fashion and motivation and tech. And just I put my life on the forefront for you guys to find enjoying, enjoyable, enjoying, or entertaining. One or the other, but this that's out the way. If you guys watched my last vlog, you saw that I hinted at a collaboration, like a partnership that I couldn't necessarily speak on at the moment because one, the product wasn't even out yet, and two, I'm under contract, so I really couldn't even talk about it. But today, today I got time to talk about it. So without further ado, I was blessed to unveil a new product that merged two of the leading industries together to produce something that's really, really dope. The tech industry and the streetwear, fashion, cultural industry collaborated on a tech item that it's literally groundbreaking. So without further ado, this is the Asus Vivo Book OLED S15 Bape Edition. Bape and Asus collaborated on a really dope product that I want to take you guys through a full day in the lab, show you guys how I use it, what I like about it, things I don't, I'm a, I'm a Mac user at heart. So there's things that I obviously don't like about it just because this is a whole different pro, like, whole different thing. This is a whole different laptop, you feel me? <laughs> but nonetheless, let's get the day started showing you guys what I do with this after I take a shower because I just, Got back from the gym, got my little one-two in. I got my, I been, if y'all follow me on IG, y'all know I've been in the gym OD, bro. I, today's workout was a four by three by five at 405 pounds. So remember like maybe two months ago, I couldn't even squat 405 pounds. Now I'm repping out 405 for five reps and three sets of that. So I've been on my, on my booty. Let's get the day started. I'm gonna shower first, kind of get myself together. Then we're gonna go to a coffee shop because Jayhawk, big shout out Jayhawk. He's actually the inspiration for this video. He said, I'm supposed to take this laptop to the coffee shop. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We'll go to the coffee shop, kind of work on it. I want to take some pictures too with... The... Let's just get the day started, bro. Fuck. I always do so much talking, man. Jesus Christ. to do any sort of work, I gotta feed my dogs, because I am a dog dad. I'm dog dad of the year. Made a pet set first, not me. I know you guys saw in the news this whole like Hurricane Hillary, or this whole whatever was supposed to be going on here in like, Southern California. Let me be honest with you guys, like outside of the actual news that was reported, bro, it only rained out here in LA. Someone said there was an earthquake yesterday, which I didn't even feel it, but there was only like general surface level grade A rain. Only regular rain, so like there was no flooding. There was, maybe in some areas of Southern California there was flooding, but where I live at, it was just regular rain all day. So be careful what you guys watch on the news because it could be a lot of misleading information. They could probably have you guys set up for something that's not even happening. Like yesterday, it literally just rained, right? And it stopped raining after 6 p.m. So like, I don't know. Let me feed them real quick. I found this coffee spot that I, I've been wanting to go to. It's called Copa Vida. It's just like a nice little urban -y, kind of like cafe type spot. We're gonna go there, take some pictures in there because I like the scenery inside too. And then see what else we got going on. I do want to play some Fortnite too. So y'all know I'm not a gamer by any means, bro. I don't game anymore. I stopped playing the video game maybe 20, 20 during COVID. So for the first time in like three years, bro, I actually started playing Fortnite again. And let me tell you, I used to play on PS5 and I was low, I was low key nice, you feel me? But playing keyboard and mouse, I have a newfound respect for all my keyboard and mouse players. So like, I don't know any gamers, but like Low, Low Game, you know, maybe Johnny. I think Johnny plays, you know, games too. But like anybody who plays using keyboard and mouse, bro, I have a newfound respect for you because that is not easy. I got little hands, so being able to like press the key, like, bro, I'll show y'all later. Let me feed them real quick. So there's no like direct way to eat a banana on camera. So I'm not gonna, y'all thought I was going, I'm no, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm playing this in. Well. <laughs> All right, 
Alright, so the fit is on. It's a super black, kind of like monochrome fit. I'm trying to match the vibe of outside, which has been gloomy because it's been raining all day, so that's the vibe. I am going to wear my Travis Scott's, but I was actually going to try to finesse and throw the babes on. But I already took photos for the concept of the brand and like the, I did that already, so I don't need to wear them. I just want to let y'all know that I got the, I got the babes on me just in case I need to break them out to, you know, to match the vibe. Um, also, too, if you watch my last vlog, I shot a vlog on how much money I spent in a week, right? I went to the mall to try to get the black toes, the loads that just came out. I didn't get them when they like when I went to the mall, but I went back last week and I definitely grabbed them for retail. So again, this wasn't like an impulse buy. This was like I went to a store that I knew had them, got them. I think I got them for thirty percent off too. Matter of fact, because I am a Nike member. So yeah, got them for below retail. Clean shoe. I did lace swap them from white or from red to white because the red lace is like doo. -doo. But that's the fit. Um, yeah. So before I get out of here, I actually have to show, as I was saying, before I get out of here, I want to show you guys how it actually arrived to my house. So the laptop came in this really dope, vape-inspired laptop case, which again, I feel like when you're making a product that's like this culturally driven, but still has the tech spin-off, you have to come, this box came correct, bro. Still has the full babe look, babe logo on the front. Also has the Aces logo on the front, but, but this is really, really clean. What came inside this was the travel carry case, which I'm gonna put the laptop inside here. The laptop, obviously, it came with a Bluetooth wireless mouse that has two sleeves. This one is obviously that babe green camo. The other one is like a black version of this babe camo. And it also came with this dope babe figurine that has a laptop pick. So what, one thing, I didn't know the laptop, the mini laptop actually slid in this. But I watched the video yesterday and I watched somebody slide it on there. I have to pull it off the top shelf that I'm not going to do right now. But again, I feel like it came really, really correct as far as the presentation of the product. Like unboxing was a movie itself for me. I filmed the whole unboxing thing on my Instagram channel if you watch that. Um, but I feel like, again, this was a really, really dope product. I'm excited to show you guys what it does because there's a lot I want to talk about. And there's a lot of things that I want to give you guys insight on just in case you do want to purchase this. So let me get this stuff together, get my camera stuff ready. We're going to slide out of here. Yeah, we're gonna slide out of here. All right, so my office is currently a mess. We gonna ignore that, but cool carpet, nice carry bag. It's not that big. The laptop is extremely light, so it's easy to carry around. So let's go check the coffee shop. Yo, I feel extremely misled. One, it's not raining. Two, it's not gloomy. And three, it's actually hot outside. I got a long sleeve shirt on, a utility vest, and some cargo. Man. All right, we just gonna keep it. We gonna, we gonna let it rock, whatever. It is what it is. But man, California, y'all gotta do better. It was just hurricane warning. We, our lives are at risk yesterday. And today, it's like nothing ever happened. Like, I don't, that don't make no sense, bro. That don't make no sense. All right, so I got my iced coffee, my vanilla iced latte. One thing about me and coffee, I don't stray away from what I like. If it's one thing that I like as it tastes good, I'm gonna always order it. So this is like my normal Starbucks drink that I got at a different place, and it's just as good. And with, on top of it being good, it was free. Big shout out to Brittany over here at Copa Vida. I told her it was my first time here. She was like, you know what I mean? She's like, I got you. She, I don't even, don't even worry about it, I got you. So free coffee on the house, but I forgot how uncommon it felt to work outside of my office. The whole point of me having an office is to be able to dedicate my time to work there, but like, I haven't came to a coffee shop just to get stuff done ever. I haven't stepped out of my office to get any work done. So it's a cool car and it feels good in here. The AC busting in here crazy too. So I'm gonna get some emails answered, get some pictures edited that I'm gonna show you guys like what I like about this so far that I've noticed. Again, I've been using it for a couple weeks now, but there's a couple things that I do actually really like about this interface itself. So let me get this done and then I'll let y'all know. We 
had to relocate because I was inside they was playing that music and I was not gonna get copyrighted on YouTube for that <laughs> but one of the main things I do like about this outside of it being a lightweight laptop is the screen size screen size is 15.5 inches so it allows me to put certain windows in certain regions of the laptop so I'm not like OD staring at one small screen I like having the accessibility to be able to move things like in Lightroom and Premiere Pro you can move your project monitor somewhere else so you can utilize a screen for your tools or like a segment of the laptop screen for your tools and a segment of the laptop screen for your actual project working monitor I like having that that's just like a preference of mine so this does exactly that for me 15.5 inches is just big enough to be able to put something on one side and focus on another thing so that's a big W for me um, if you're someone who utilizes other windows like if you have like your YouTube open and you still work on something else this would be the perfect laptop for you especially someone in school bro this is perfect and when you're when I was in class and I wasn't like paying attention I had YouTube open and like my notes open and like I was watching Netflix and studying or taking notes or doing homework or whatever the case may be so this is like a w laptop for your average user who just wants to be able to accessibly work on multiple things at once for, for me at least now let's talk about utilization so i tried to push this laptop to the max i'm talking like od lightroom and premiere pro at the same time running fortnite on here streaming youtube like i've done it all and i feel like it passes the test because of the built-in internal fan if it didn't have a fan i would run into a lot more issues than i already ran into which the only two issues i ran into was an application crash in lightroom and premiere but that was only because i needed to update the app it only crashed because i needed to update it so for the sake of this the 15 inch 15.5 inch widescreen a lightweight fully customizable keyboard customizable bluetooth mouse thirteen hundred dollars bro this is like a w laptop for anyone who doesn't have enough bread to break the bank on a mac i love mac i'm an os user i've always been a macbook iphone type of apple user when it comes to all of my technology this is something that i didn't know that i would like as much as i do and this hands down bro this is something that if you're like a general laptop user who needs to use it for work or for homework or just like for general browsing or someone like me you, know, you create you edit content you utilize like downloaded applications on a regular basis this passes the test every single time but there's one thing that i do not like about this that i'll tell you guys when i get back to the crib all right we're back in the coffee shop i had to like another additional hour just to go back and forth through email with a brand that i'm doing another brand partnership with later this week or this month actually i have to change my concept so yeah i was going to originally shoot a get ready with me video in my office it's my space my own look but they have like two or three other content creators who are also doing the same campaign and they're also doing Get Ready With Me videos, so they wanted me to change my concept to be a little bit more intricate, which I don't mind, but that means I had to come up with a whole, it's a whole thing, so it is what it is. But back to what I don't like about this. So there's a couple minor things I don't like, but the one major is the complete limitation to insert any SD card at all on this thing. There's no slot for it. You have to do what you have to do for Max, which is you have to get an attachment that allows you to insert an SD card on there, which I don't mind for my Mac sake because I also have to use the same attachment to run that dual monitor setup. But for this sake, if I want to take this with me to travel, I have to buy a whole new attachment just to insert SD cards. Because if I don't, I have to plug my camera in, which is what I've been doing, upload all the video and photo content onto here, edit it all up, upload that content to Google Drive, send myself the link just to be able to assess the content, which it's way too much. It is way too much. So the one takeaway, the one thing that I don't like that's major is there's really no space for you to actually run this smoothly as a content creator if you're trying to get content like edited or uploaded, edited, and then back to your phone to be able to post. So that's one amazing thing I don't like, but it's, you know, for the sake of this, it is what it is. I do have all Apple products, so for me to complain about something that's not an Apple product, it fucking defeats the purpose. But outside of that, I do still love it. I am going to go ahead and get some of these pictures edited right now. I'm also going to watch a couple of YouTube videos while I edit because... I have to free time too, why not? And I'm gonna eat my lunch. I made some fire spicy barbecue chicken wings yesterday. My own recipe that I'll share. I, matter of fact, I'm gonna gatekeep it for now. I'll share with you guys eventually. But let me get this video content for Instagram Reel edited. Some pictures edited also for Instagram story. Watch a couple YouTube videos and then we get into the exciting part, the game. Because I gotta show y'all, I'm really, I'm really nice at Fortnite if y'all didn't really know. But let me get this done first. Hit crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know X game mode. <laughs> Alright, so we got Fortnite loaded up and ready to go. I gotta make a disclaimer, dog. I'm not a gamer. I'm not a gamer by any means necessary. Up until this point when I got this, I haven't touched a video game or a controller in at least three years. Like it was one of the things that was like distracting me from focusing on something else. So I put the games away, but for experimental purposes, I've been playing Fortnite for at least a week now because I wanted to get good enough to where I could 
play on camera and not look like a total fool, you feel me? But anyways, a couple takeaways I want to point out before I start playing is I'm not going to plug this in either. I've been using the laptop since about 7.30, 7.45. I've edited video content. I've been editing photos all day. I've been sending emails out all day. I've been watching YouTube videos for a good couple, a good chunk of like the afternoon. 62% battery life after usage like that is insane, bro. Like straight up. So like I know there might have been a lot of speculation that the battery life was one of the things I didn't like. It's not even the case, bro. It's probably one of the better things that I like about this compared to any laptop I've ever had, which is good battery life after optimal usage. That's one thing I can say. Good battery life after optimal usage is important, especially if you're someone who's not a content creator, but you want to use this for like school or for work or like a family laptop for everyone in the household to use. You can pass this thing around. Everyone can use it for however long they need to use it and maybe not even have to charge it. So that's a big W. So let's run a couple games of Fortnite real quick. For all my Fortnite players who know Fortnite verbiage, I'm playing Zero Build. I'm playing uh, Solo Squads because it's easier for me to play against a bunch of nerds who aren't good than to play against that one sweaty dude who runs solos every day who gets 20 kills every lap. I'm not doing that, you feel me? So we're going to load up a game and we're going to see what's happening. Oh! Oh! Get up out of here, gang. Get up out of here, gang. Yeah. Get up out of here, gang. Get up out of here. Get up out of here. Oh, I'm out of here. Time to go. Yeah, see, I'm not bad. I'm not the best, but I'm definitely not bad. Oh! Yeah, I got aim by gang. I got aim by gang. I know you're mad. All right, so game one, we finished up with six kills. Not bad, but on the flip side, the frame rate isn't the best at times. I've noticed the frame rate drops a little bit when it comes to certain aspects of the game because this is not a gaming laptop by any means. But for the most part, bro, smooth. We gonna run one more game real because six kills off the rip? Man, man, call me Tifu, bro. Put me in the, put me in the Fortnite games. I'm sweet, man. <laughs> Diaries episode 21, a day in the life of the Vivo book OLED S15 Bape Edition. I gotta give a huge shout out to Asus and the Bape. This isn't a sponsored video, like I said beforehand. I'm just eternally grateful to be selected to showcase an item like this because it's huge for me. It's huge for the culture, it's huge for content creation, it's huge for everything, bro. You're huge for tech. I'm not in the tech space, but again, this is what interests me and this is what aligns with who I am. So it makes no sense for me not to go above and beyond with the content I put out and just give you guys more insight into something that you guys might need. Anyway, it's back to school, you feel me? If y'all need a new laptop to go back to school, tell your folks, like, look, you know, Dave showcased something that I think is worthwhile, mom. Get, let me see that credit card, you feel me? Or pops, let me let me hold a couple dollars. Let me, you know what I'm saying? Let me, let me get something, you feel me? Um, if you guys are interested about it, though, I'll go ahead and drop the link in the description. You guys can click on the link and learn more about it. Grab yours. It does come in two different variations. I should have said that beforehand. It comes in this like green bait that matches my wallpaper, obviously. Then it comes in this like ice blue, the same bait design, but in an ice blue with the, all the ice blue carry pack and so on and so forth. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and learn more. Click the link in my description and grab it. Uh, but yeah, that's it, bro. I appreciate you guys for tapping in. I appreciate all of you guys for subscribing too. We're coming up on 8,000 subscribers, which means we're this much closer to 10K subscribers before the year ends, which that's my goal. So if we can hit 10K before, November, I got something heavy coming for you guys. I promise you, again, I have to show my love to you guys for always showing love to me in return. So as always, tell people you love them. Tell your family, your folks, your homies, your girl, your boy, whatever. Tell them you love them, you appreciate them. Continue to work hard, continue to grind, to chase those dreams and do whatever y'all gotta do, you feel me? I'm always trying to keep y'all motivation, you feel me, gang? I'm always trying to tell you guys and show you guys that whatever you wanna do in this lifetime is possible, bro. And I feel like, when I chase my dreams and I showcase what I'm doing, how hard I'm working and so on and so forth, I don't do that to show you guys that I have the ability to. I do that to show you guys that you guys are more than capable of it as well if you really, really focus in and lock in on your dreams, bro. It's, it's that, it's literally that simple, bro. Lock in on your dreams, lock in on the things that you wanna accomplish and I guarantee you, if you put in the time, bro, it'll all be possible. That's, and that's, that's, that's word of my mom, you feel me? So again, appreciate y'all tapping in. Almost at 8K, you feel me? Go ahead, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, you feel me? Go ahead, follow me on IG, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Threads, you feel me? It's your boy Dave. I'm gonna get back on Fortnite because I just took an L right now and I'm not even pleased. So y'all be easy, bro.
Let me let me see the damn the damn album. It's over.